Hey there everyone, welcome back to Life is Strange True Colors. Still on our journey to find the last, right? I think the last soul stone with Thanor and Alto. But before we continue on, we're gonna have to check in with Riley to see how things are going with the USB stick in the flower shop. Mind if I duck in here a second? I have to, um, renew my bar guild membership. Yeah. Okay. I hope this action won't have consequences, but I don't think so because we didn't see the lantern in the top left corner, right? <laughs> oh, you never know. Front and center. Supporting Team Iris on July 18th. I could have uh, read the notes, but I, yeah, I didn't. Realized it too late. <laughs> hey there. <laughs> I could ask Riley how progress is going with the USB. Will do, will do. Hold on. Did Riley put this up? The last thing Eleanor wanted was everyone fussing over her. Dear customers, beginning May 15th, Lathe Flowers will have reduced hours of operation due to a family health issue. We apologize for the inconvenience. Yeah, who knows who put that up? It's conveniently typed and printed out, you know, from a computer, so it could be both of them. Uh, it could be either of them who put it there. I've got a job now. I could actually donate something. And we should do that, yes. Right for the cure is what we saw earlier. Please support Team Iris on July 18th. See Riley for donation forms and further information. Breckenridge, July 18th. Together we can end Alzheimer's, what we read in Chapter 2. During that very dreadful section where we tried to help Eleanor. The way she looked at us. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Riley, I just want you to know... I already read who it was from... I just want you to know, uh, I am so happy we are talking again. Ooh. I know it's hard to trust me after all that shit with Typhon. Typhon, mm-hmm. But I am not going anywhere. I will be here to help you and Nana whenever you need. Mac. P.S. You are really strong and wonderful. I hope you know that. P.P.S. I still love you, but I am not asking anything. Good. Don't fall for him again, girl. So Eleanor's donating all those decorations? Uh, well, the annual spring raffle, take home a beautiful arrangement from this year's spring festival. Although, at first it sounded like she was raffling off all the stuff in the store, but I think it's specifically made for this, right? One ticket, one dollar, all proceeds support the Haven Springs Historical Preservation Society. Hmm. Okay. Those are new. I guess they're reminders. They moved from the office behind the counter so that hopefully she... It somehow helps Eleanor. Who knows? There's a whole tech side to Riley I never knew about. Gate mm -hmm. did, though. Yeah. And well, so do we now. I like how she lets us walk into the office. For Spring Festival. These are freaking gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Ah, now we can see Eleanor it. must hate that she needs this. Yeah. Reminders for Nana. Morning. Change water in cooler buckets. Mondays. Receive delivery from Rowlands. Listen to phone messages. Do not erase. 
8.30 a.m. Call with Riley to review today's orders. Flip sign to open. Fill orders. And uh, in the afternoon, put new mail next to computer. Check on outdoor plants. Wipe down the cooler. Close the register. And flip sign to closed and lock up. Remember to rest. Yeah. Oh, no. It's uh, the acceptance letter or something. I don't know. I I thought that could be uh, the post, um, not the post, the mail from uh, the hospital that we saw in the previous chapter. But it isn't. Riley's wasn't. like 300 pages in. Must be a good book. The Mascaron Effect. An astonishing vision of the future. Aha. Somebody locked into the computer. I... We'll definitely not touch this. Hack be nimble password cracker 4.5.1 seven day trial version. Very specific. Uh, and we are going <laughs> with the brute force mode. Ch currently checking the password die at NE4. Time elapsed 1 hour 26 minutes or 1 minute 26 seconds. Probably 1 hour. Uh, passwords checked. Or maybe not. Maybe it's a minute. I don't know. Uh, 3. 154,701. I do hope you will get the password. May 2019. This is different. Dr. Glob Keith? <laughs> uh, on May 4th, 11.15 uh, a.m. No. Yes. Izzy, right? That's the girl from... Uh, or the person... From uh, that um, button memory from chapter 2. Steph's friend, right? Anyway, Sue's daughter can cover until 1 p.m. Uh, May 7th, physical therapy. Chrissy, I don't know who that is. Uh, and then it repeats for some reason. That's probably not supposed to be like that, but uh, then uh, on May 7th, physical therapy. Um, and on uh, 2.30 p.m., Mac is picking up Nana at, uh, at 1 p.m. 45. What the fuck? Then what's at 2.30 if he's picking her up at 1.45? I mean, I guess the physical therapy, but... Very weird. It seems like there are a lot of oversights by the developers of the game. Just saying. But yeah, moving on. On uh, May 9th, we have George from Smart Home Systems. Estimate for... A, yeah, estimate for remote security and... Temporary? System for shop, including coolers. No, temperature system. Not temporary, I think. <laughs> anyway, 1.30 p.m. Uh, May 14th, Book Club, Conviction, 7 p.m. May 16th, Alzheimer's gr Support Group in Grand Junction, leave 2 p.m. and close shop at 1.30. May 18th, Dr. Glocky follow-up at 10.20 a.m. And then Mother's Day deliveries, Mac can help from 3 p.m. Mac, uh, May 10th, I don't... It's very confusing how they wrote this down, right? But sure, from May 18th, let's go to May 10th. Power of Attorney info session at Haven Library. Power of Attorney info session. I'm confused. At Haven Library. 10 a.m. Riley only. Nana at shop. Again, Mother's Day deliveries. A spring festival. Jet will dry flowers over. Meg available all day. Memorial Day. And May 20th. May 29th. From May 10th. No, from May 18th to May 10th to May 29th. Yeah, I, don't ask me. I don't know what happened here. Kathy, who is the care coordinator, uh, at 3 p.m. And we close the shop at 2.30. Sure. That's uh, hella confusing. Not gonna lie. That, that on, yeah, no, honestly, that confused me. A lot. Anyway, Riley, what's up? Nana's such a good person. She doesn't deserve any of this. And neither does Riley. Nobody ev uh, ever deserves this, I think. <laughs> any luck with the USB? No, not yet. It's gonna take hours, if we're lucky. Oh. If you want to check it out, it's running on the office computer. Oops. But don't touch anything. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for doing this. You don't have to thank me. It's the least I could do for Gabe. And honestly, it's a nice distraction for me right now.
Is something going on with Eleanor? I found out Nana has been sick. She has Alzheimer's. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Officially, we didn't know this yet. Yeah, right. Anyway, let's talk about something else. Let's talk about school. We don't want to barge in, right? Are you still going to school? Oh, no. I turned them down. Nana told me not to, but she's going to need help. That must have been a hard decision. No. I knew what I had to do. What's hard is dealing with the disappointment. How's Mac doing? I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, he's around. Probably too embarrassed to show his face. Mm -hmm. At least he's writing cards. He has been helping Nana a lot. I'm sure he's just trying to get back together with me, but it kind of doesn't matter. I'm grateful he's here. We'll talk later. Let's talk later. I'll let you know if I make any progress. Thanks again. Have fun with your... thing. We are having fun. Thank you very much. Nana's such a good okay. person. She doesn't deserve any of this. Um... Yeah, I really hope that the brute force password hacker <laughs> will manage to crack the password. And if not, <laughs> at least we can reap the rewards and return the stick. <laughs> to Diane, right? It's a win-win situation, no matter how it goes. <laughs> Always look on the bright side. Okay. Ready to go? Come on. I bet there's something fun in the record store. Yeah. We know there will be. No one appreciates my fine work. Oh there. I hear you've dealt with the serpent and the troll. I'm impressed. And that's no easy task. Mm. Mm. Was fine. I'd wager the magpie has trinkets for adventurous folk like you. She's inside. The magpie's a cutie pie. Interesting. That's for sure. I had to say that, sorry. Um... Let's look at the blacksmith. It's really <clears throat> sweet how many people Steph's roped into this. Yeah. And how nobody at least <laughs> tries to break character, right? Everything okay? You seem pretty, um... Maybe I should have read the aura first. Grumpy. I've forgotten the devil. What a thankless Oops. life. Being a smith in the age of monsters. Whoa. Sorry. He's really into this. Yeah, he really is. What did you need again? Sunsilver? The components for Sunsilver. <sighs> Sunsilver, aha. Yeah, I'm sorry that I <laughs> was too quick to press uh, uh, A to read the aura so that we didn't hear uh, uh, all that he had to say, right? But uh, anyway. I'm guessing this is... A fancy art gallery. Wait, no. A pet shop. The Magpie Emporium. Please knock twice. Go for it. Monster or mortal? Mortal! Come in. Okay, let's check out the Emporium. Uh. Is 
Sorry about the lock. These are dangerous times. Welcome to the Magpie Emporium. Oh my god. Oh, so <laughs> this is like a magic shop. I'm gonna take a look around a bit, okay? Okay. Let's see what stuff's done to the place. Mysterious proprietor. Holy shit. Steph looks fantastic. Yes, she does. We have a business license. That's not ominous at all. Business license. The Sorcery Guild hereby authorizes the Magpie Emporium to buy and sell items with magical properties. The guild assumes no responsibility for the consequences. Signed by... Ilya Varnesian, the Archmage. Okay, sure. Ah, more guitars. I'd like to try one of those bard instruments, please. You'll need to schedule a private appointment. Ooh. I'll do that. Exactly. How does Steph come up with all these names? So, more intel, Sunsilver. A semi-magical compound used in the forging of ceremonial weapons, shields and crests. Once set, Sunsilver can shine with the brightness of seven suns, making it popular at coronations, weddings and early morning council meetings, okay? Components, iron, goblin ore, fire powder. The discovery of Sunsilver dates back to the royal smith of Griffin's Peak, who first fabricated the great sword Leipsnacratus? Kratus? Uh, under the direction of high alchemist Robert Welborough. Okay, yeah. So we need to collect those ingredients, I assume. Man, my dating life could have used a truth spell or two. Come to the Magpie Emporium on Sunday evenings. Meet other unwed hopefuls in a truth spelled environment. Love potion strictly prohibited. Admission one gold. So there is a fifth gold. And imagine if we would have found that already and if we would have given that to the troll. Something to think about, huh? <laughs> uh, how can I open my inventory again? I don't know. Doesn't let me do that for some reason. Never mind. As a classically trained bard, I gotta say, this music's not bad. Mm-hmm. We have a tapestry. He's forging the Sky Sword of Power. Oh, yeah? One day, Thanor's gonna find it. I hope so. Magical wares. I bet we're supposed to buy something here. Yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Probably not be the best look if we would just uh, step right out. Oh. Alex is allowed to think Ryan's hot. I need to get over it. Oh, no. Never seen Steph no. all twisted up no. like this before. I'm sorry. Surely she knows she's hot too. She's always so confident. I hope so. Girl, I'm sorry. That was exactly what I was afraid of, but how was I supposed to know? We're gonna speak to her in a little bit. That actually looks legit. I bet it's from Spirit Halloween. Golems. Golems. Animation, Animation fee, not fee not included. Yeah. Thanks for taking oh, the words Steph. out of my mouth, but okay. Spells. Healing portals necromancy. Spells. Very cute stuff. Are these spells for sale? To members of the Sorcery Guild only. Sorry. Safety procedures. Wonder if they have drills for this. In case of monster attack, first, gather those who matter. <laughs> Second, cast protective circle. Third, create illusion in other direction. And fourth, await archmage assistance. Not guaranteed. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's very... Um... Uh... I forgot the word. Oh my god. It's getting late. That's very uh, calming. Let's say calming. I don't know. Very cute stuff. Uh, we have tarot cards. Seeking insight? Draw a card. Huh. Let's draw one. What do I want insight about? 
people, I guess. What about Steph? Steph is just awesome. <laughs> the Fool. A card of spontaneity, spontaneity, fearlessness, and adventurous... Wait, what? And adventurous welcome gladly, yeah. Couldn't process the text for a second there. Ryan? Is that true for Ryan? I hope so. The Star, a card of inspiration, optimism, and hope for the future. I really hope this is true. Strength, a card of triumph over inner challenges through compassion. Oh, I hope so too. That's it with people, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't know why the option doesn't disappear then, but, uh, Typhon. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. Too real. The Devil, a card of power and domination and the pursuit of same. Thinks? Haven. Yikes. Death, a card of endings, inevitable transformation and letting go. Exactly, the death card doesn't have to be a bad thing. My power? You were right, Gabe. I'm a superhero. The Chariot. A card of determination, focus, and the sculpting of one's own destiny. That's it, right? Yeah. Valkyrie. Warning. <laughs> Cat is cursed. Do not pet. She wouldn't let yeah. us anyway. No need to warn me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, the guitar. I guess some heroes are into bards with flashy guitars. But I'm glad Thanor has better taste. Widely believed to be the instrument of Fleet Silvertongue, bard of champions and savior of Prince Klar Darin. Priceless or, or best offer. Or best offer, of course. How about a firstborn? It's a wonder Valkyrie's ever hungry. What with all the human flesh I assume she consumes. That's why the bowl isn't empty. Um... Yeah, let's talk to the proprietor. The streets used to be full of people. That's all you have to say? The streets used to be full of people. Let's buy something then. The soul sapphire's right there. For sale. 10,000 gold. <laughs> I am the only vendor of magical items in the kingdom. Let's look at everything. Oh, okay, it's just this. Okay, so troll dust. Too bad we didn't have this back at the bridge. Troll dust, curiosity, any class. Uh, dusted trolls become very friendly. One pinch per troll. Uh huh. Oh well. Hindsight is twenty twenty, right? So, soul sapphire. How much money? Do Ten thousand. Zero. Okay. Obviously, there's some other way to get this. Maybe we can. Get a little flirtatious with the proprietor, huh? Why is this 10,000 gold? Was I too generous? It was originally 20,000, but... No, I meant... Never mind. Maybe we can make some kind of deal with her. Oh, yeah, trust me, honey. Let Just let me handle the transaction. Would you consider giving us that sapphire? <laughs> For free? <laughs> <gasps> yes! In exchange for something far more valuable. My hand. <laughs> In marriage. And all of its associated benefits. <laughs> I'm sure this isn't the first time someone's asked you, given your <laughs> obvious hotness. <laughs> I mean, she didn't expect that. Oh, that's for sure. Oh man, <laughs> this just got real. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't intrigued, but I'm afraid I can't accept. For now. <laughs> we need the sapphire right away. It's for a quest to end the age of monsters. I've heard there's a magical fish that lives in the river of sorrows. <laughs> Said Ryan too. Bring me back one of its scales 
and I'll give you the sapphire in return. Where was that? We saw the scale, right? We f yeah, 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 yeah. That, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that was One it. Okay. Magic fish scale. Ha! <laughs> Impressive. Way ahead of you, baby. Well, then here's my end of the bargain. We've got all three. We can go back to the king now. Yep. But I do wonder about the sun silver. Hold on. Do you think we'll run into any more trolls? I doubt it. They're pretty territorial. I'm Then I guess we don't need this. Yeah. Also, we can't buy this because we don't we don't even have one single gold, so I guess that's it. I do. I do. I do. I do. <laughs> yes, yes, Maybe yes, so do I. It's not around. Okay, yeah, that worked well. I, I'm happy that we turned this thing around. I hope we meet again. <laughs> we will. We will, baby. We will. At the Spring Festival. You can bet your damn ass. You can bet your chits that we will meet at the Spring Festival. We just need a flower. But... Yeah, about this, the sun silver. How does Steph come up with all these names? And where? That's what I would like to know. Maybe from the king as a reward, but I don't know. Because we couldn't. Yeah, we couldn't even buy this iron, uh, a goblin ore, and fire powder. Yeah. I guess the only thing. Spent gold on magical goods, but I can't. We don't have any gold, do we? Let's do this again. Was that again? We can't buy this, right? So the scroll of advantage basically skips the enemy turn. My hypnotic fugue kind of does the same thing. Yeah, but the fugue uses up your turn, so you can't attack. The scroll is stronger. We, but we can't. We don't have one. Or do we? Am I dumb? One gold, please. We don't have that. Uh, but now we definitely can't buy anything. So I can heal already with my music. But where did we get that gold from? Yeah. But the scroll heals us completely. And it cures poison and stuff like that. Could have sworn we were bankrupt. We need to find more yeah. coins for that. Okay, so we had one. But I have no idea where we've gotten that from. I could have sworn we only had four. And we... Uh, <laughs> and we... um. Well, we gave those four coins to the troll. In exchange for... It was an exchange for the soul stone, right? It must have been the soul stone. What else would it have been? But uh, y you know what I mean. Anyway, let's leave. Because that should be everything. <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm happy with that. Uh, that should be everything that we can do here. And yeah, about the sun silver, the only thing I can think of is the king. That we get the ingredients from him, but I don't know. Because I don't know where else we would get them. We went everywhere. Technically, there's still two more monsters, but where are they? Where can they hide? They can't be anywhere else. We, we've been everywhere again. Hmm. Very weird. Unless, of course, we meet them on our way. We're still thinking about that tapestry. Yes, that's a possibility, the but I don't know. The blacksmith making the sword? Yeah. We'll see. But you know what, actually? Since we already are a little over 30 minutes, we are definitely going to end here for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching.
I hope to see you in the next one, which could be the finale of the LARP, not of the chapter, I think. That would be too soon, but of the LARP. Can't be that much more coming up, right? Um, and, well, yeah. Until then, bye-bye.